Welcome to Mosaic's Florida Operations Center. This building is a state-of-the-art office building incorporating sustainable design and construction initiatives which help preserve our world's natural resources and provides a healthy collaborative work environment for today's employees. Utilizing U.S. Green Building Council's LEED New Construction Certification Process, Ryan Companies, working closely with Mosaic Steering Committee and Newland Communities, designed and constructed the building to pursue a LEED Gold Certification level to kick off Circa Fishhawks Green Community Initiative. It's important to preserve our natural resources and for this project we've focused our energies on uh, energy conservation and water conservation. So saving those natural resources uh, is something that's important to Ryan going forward. The U.S. Green Building Council created the LEED certification process to provide design and construction professionals a quantitative roadmap to recognize sustainable design initiatives. The LEED scorecard is broken into six major categories. LEED initiatives for the sustainable site included finding a location that geographically was a good fit for the Mosaic employees that would be coming from various places to this centrally located complex. The new Mosaic Florida Operations Center is equipped with bike racks and changing rooms, allowing the employees of Mosaic that are residents in the area to bike to work. Also, there are special parking spaces for energy efficient vehicles. Those employees are able to park closer to the front door. A master planned water retention system was designed and constructed to ensure the stormwater collected on the site is properly treated before being sent to the wetlands areas across from the Mosaic building. Lead initiatives were discussed with the Mosaic Steering Committee, putting a high priority on water conservation and reducing the amount of wastewater generated. In order to achieve this task, the landscape irrigation system was designed to use captured rainwater, collect the clean rainwater from the white membrane roof, parking lots, and other areas in the adjacent pond. This eliminated any use of potable water for any irrigation on this project. Indoor water conservation efforts were focused on utilizing dual flush toilets and low flow fixtures. The entire construction industry is heading in that direction. Um, LEED is obviously on the forefront of it. It's just the way buildings are being built. People are being smarter about it. Um, they're building buildings better and the buildings are smarter and cleaner and more efficient. We have provided low flow fixtures. Uh, the lavatories are one gallon per minute, uh, sensor operated, so when your hands do go underneath it, you get water. When you pull them away, it does stop. Uh, the urinals are uh, an eighth of a gallon per flush, which is extremely efficient. And the water closets are 1.28 gallons per flush, which is a little bit less than the 1.6 standard. And all of those are also sensor operated. We can build the building virtually before we build the building. Um, this way we help out with uh, identifying clashes or interferences between structural members or HVAC ductwork. Um, and what that does is by doing that virtually, we eliminated a lot of waste in the building on it. There was no reworking of ductwork. We didn't have to throw out beams or 2x4s or any other construction materials because it was built virtually on a computer three-dimensionally. And then it was a lot less waste when we were actually building it physically in the field. The exterior walls are tilt-up concrete panels and they're 65 feet tall so they were sight cast on casting beds and then a big crane was brought in and stand up each panel 65 feet tall from uh, first floor all the way up to the top to, to the fourth floor in one continuous panel, stood them up, braced it to the inside and then, the, and then was connected together with the steel framing for the floor and the roof systems. The Ryan Company's design and building process helps the project team analyze not only initial construction cost, but also project life cycle cost, helping to reduce energy to cool and light the building. I think for a long time the construction industry has had a tendency to do the things the way we've always done them and not to try to recognize some of the limited nature of the resources that we're dealing with. 
So trying to build projects in this nature uh, brings us back or, or gets us to be a part of the world and understand that we have to, to live and value the resources that we have. But I think the thing that, that probably has been slow to become accepted is the fact that in most cases there's actually a financial benefit as well. I think we have to, to be practical and live in, a, live in a world that realistically recognizes the financial restraints. Uh, but for the most part, uh, particularly with a project such as this, there's sound financial planning that will demonstrate that on the long term, going green actually saves money. Lead initiatives for materials and resources category are designed to assist the project team conserve natural resources. Our project team engaged local subcontractors to help specify materials that were manufactured locally. Ryan companies utilized recycled materials including these countertops that are manufactured with recycled glass from old windshields. Over 20% of the materials used on this project were recycled and manufactured within 500 miles of the project. The team implemented an on-site recycling program utilizing separate dumpsters for concrete, steel, cardboard and general trash in which 85% of the construction waste was sent to recycling centers. Lead initiatives for the indoor environmental quality category assisted the team in creating a healthy and productive work environment. This includes the HVAC system to optimize the fresh air delivery. Low emitting standards were specified for interior finishes, including wood, paint, and carpets. Floor plans were designed to locate open workstations near exterior windows. The daylight and occupancy sensors provides a user-friendly work environment. We've been integrating lead strategies for over a decade, and so I feel like it's almost um, second nature to us to do these things, and the marketplace is really um, Catching up with that, it used to be a difficult thing to have lead products and lead specifications. Now it's really, uh, people understand what you're talking about and it's much more common now. It's primarily concrete, which is extremely recyclable. Uh, steel, which is um, itself, yeah, as, the, as it's being built, the material has a recycled content inherently and that's very recyclable as well. The finishes down to the carpet and the aluminum and the windows and the entire building could really be recycled very efficiently. As the mosaic building is completed from the aspect of construction, it is continuing to achieve green awareness by using environmentally safe housekeeping products and procedures. To learn more about Ryan's Sustainable Design Initiative, please visit our website at www.ryancompanies.com. To learn more about U.S. Green Building Council's LEED certification process, visit www.usgbc.org. It was truly a pleasure working in partnership with Mosaic to facilitate the successful design, development, and certification of the Mosaic Florida Operations Center as a high-performance green building project.